Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival Server. Huh, why do I have stone tile in that chest? That should be up in here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so this episode dedicated to, um, yeah, getting food working out here. So, so first I need to decide what needs to be what needs to be what with food here? Right now, what am I doing? What? This doesn't even make sense. So I'm filtering wheat, which makes sense, into the auto crafter here. Whoops. Auto crafter, rather this one. Auto crafts makes flour. Makes flour. Just takes it from there, shoves it down into this chest. So this needs to be cooked. Also, I have um, meats that should really get cooked. So raw chicken, raw meat should get cooked. And a grinder should grind the wheat seed to flour, should cook that. And egg should get cooked as well. Okay, that's tall order. Sorry, let me take that out of there. Uh, actually, I wanted to, yeah, do that. And let's get rid of this. <clears throat> Man, that guy. And I think I'll use something else for these. Okay, so. If I didn't have everything in this chest, I could move this to... Um, let's go ahead and throw those in there. And you know what? Oh, actually, I need these. Those I have to keep. This stuff. I do need the plain old pneumatic. I don't need crossing. Definitely don't need torches. Don't need those. One-way tubes. Yeah, I'll keep a hold of those. Uh, don't I have any sorting here? Sorting. Okay, there we go. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that, but I don't have space for it in there. And no space for it in there, but I will take that. I'll take the one-way tube. Take the screwdriver. I may need that to rotate some things around. Okay, so I should be good here. So food comes down from there. And let's sort it right away. And put in... The auto crafter and the injector. So now red should take. Oh, wait, I put it in here, didn't I? Yep. So red should take wheat. Wait, channel, huh? What do you mean, channel? I don't know what that means. Oh, well. It must be something new. Hey, why is this not? Didn't want to do that. Well, that might be kind of awkward in video. For some reason, I wasn't full screen maximized. So there's probably a thin black line at the bottom of the screen. Oh, well. Whatever. Okay. This actually needs to be doing that. There we go. So Autocrafter is making flour. That will do that. Um, I guess I do need that blinky plant. And let's put that there. I think these can get filled back in. Should have kept some of these tiles on me. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So that's sending it to there, but it's still not cooked at all. And I do need it to be cooked. Now what I don't know... You know, I'm just going to grab this furnace real quick. Because I need to know if this will even work. Okay, so if I put a furnace here 
and I'm going to put that in there. And let's say I do a one-way tube there. Oh, I'd have to do another. Let's so do three one-ways. I think. Yeah, because it'll connect to the bottom of that, which I don't want it to do. I need some more wheat, but I think it's bedtime. And I need some more one-way tubes. Oh, uh, let's see how to make those. <clears throat> wow, one brings up a lot of... Uh, it's definitely not the way to search for it. Um... Oh wait, here it is. Mies crystal, a stick, and plastic sheets. Ah, uh, Mies crystal. Mm-hmm. Stick, I probably don't have, but plastic sheets, I definitely do. Ah, and I do have sticks, nice. All right, so let's make two of these puppies. And put that in there, okay. So then, yellow would filter the raw meats and chickens egg as well okay that does present a problem though what about everything else that's food like berries I don't think I can put that no because that connects those definitely don't want those connected I'd have to do another sorting tube here. Okay, so get rid of those. Uh, how do you make a sorting pneumatic tube? Because I don't have any of those. Mies crystal and six pieces of plastic. Well, I sh should be okay on that, but I'm not positive. Oh, yeah, I got tons more. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do one of those. Mm-hmm. Very nice, very nice. And let's put that right there. So then this should be... Whoops. All of these items that need to be cooked. I did upgrade this, right? Yep. Okay, well, let's run upstairs. And food. So let's go ahead and chuck all of those foods in there. And let's see what happens here. Chicken goes through, goes to there. It's in the furnace. Oh, furnace doesn't have any power though. So that's a problem. I can turn off green. On that and actually on this as well the meats gonna go in there but have issues because it can't go anywhere because this is not powered so I'll just take those out meat goes in excellent Thought here the egg comes All right, now I need some food stuff that's not either of those. So just grab those, uh, and you know what? Rather than running up and down, just do this, and let's see what happens. Apples going through very nicely. And apples in the chest. Beautiful. So now we just need to get power to there. Which should not be too hard. Because I've got power right there. And let's see here. Hmm. 
Oh. I need to put it. Hmm. Well, that leaves me in an unpleasant situation. I've got a few options here. I don't really like any of them, though. If I run the power straight up, you're going to see a power line there. I can indent it one at the cost of using more line. Because it's such an aesthetics freak, that's what I'm going to do. And I don't have any power line. Great. I know I had paper someplace. That's all I need, right? Paper and copper and then rubber fiber. Okay. Well, let's take the copper. Paper was in one of these two. I thought I had more nap. Ugh. Well, that's sufficient. I'll just... It gives me six, which should be enough. As far as I can tell, it should be enough. Of course, I don't even know if this is actually going to work yet. Because I don't know if the furnace will eject things at the bottom. And if it doesn't, well, then we've got a dud. All right. Furnace is idle, but does have power. And let's throw some raw chicken in there and see what it does. It outputs them, but it doesn't put them anywhere. Okay, so then the option is to loop it like that. Which is going to create a redundant loop. So then, we put in a one-way, but flip it backwards. Like that. So now, go ahead and eject that. Go ahead, cook that. That all loops through as expected. We grab this flower and shove that there. And bread is cooked. Very nice. Okay, the only two remaining problems. Uh, well, one. I don't actually have any way to turn all of the seeds to flour. Because that needs to run through a grinder. Which would mean I need another something. What? Put a. What am I? Oh. If I put like a grinder right here. To take the seeds, grind them, and then via a one way tube shove them into this or something. I don't know because I think a tube's going to try to reach into here. So maybe several more one-way tubes. Is it? It's still daytime. Are we safe out here? He's dying, he's dying, he's dead. Okay, we look safe. Except for whatever's in this water. There's something down there making funny sounds. But I need this wheat so we can test out the auto crafter and its functionality. And then I'm just gonna have to make uh, another furnace and another grinder. So I honestly think that's gonna be the easiest way to do this. I could probably figure it out to just use one grinder and one furnace, but that just involves too many pipes, too many sortings, and just a pain. And I don't feel like dealing with that. So I'll just make extra machines and circumvent it that way. And this is a giant wheat field. 
Why did I ever make this so large? What what do I possibly need all of this wheat for? I should start like a bread store or something. How much is that? Almost two stacks. And now the super fun part of replanting. Fortunately, you can just hold down the right mouse button and it'll put them out. But still, pretty boring. And no, it only deducts one if you place it onto the fertile soil. So fortunately, if you place seeds on top of existing seeds, you don't lose anything. That said, though, you will, I think, if the seeds have started growing, I think you replace them back to the first stage. Pretty sure. Alrighty. Almost finished here. And let's try this out. Okay, so food goes in here. I'm pulling those berries out because there's no reason to sort them out. And let's see what happens. Okay, I've got wheat coming in. Goes into Auto Crafter. There are five wheat here. I don't know why it was turned off. That's kind of silly. So it's turned on. Sends wheat, or sends flour rather. There's 21 sitting in here. Has to get four more pieces of wheat before it'll craft a new piece of flour. And beautiful, that is functional. So now if it sends it out from the right, does it take input from the bottom? Hope not. Because so I'd like to put a grinder directly on top, but I don't know if I can. Let's find out by stealing this grinder. And just pop it right there. Yeah, no, I need another sorting tube for that. And let's turn green off. Well, let's turn red off. I need some seeds here. So red should sort to seeds. And I need that so it works with the pipes. Chuck those in there. All right, and then, do I have any more one-way pipes? No, I don't. If I put a pipe there, Oh, it doesn't connect. Beautiful. That does. Not so beautiful. How could I... Hmm. I want to get it to feed into there. But I don't really think I have any good way to do that. Because if I do a one-way tube, here, let me just steal one of these. It won't matter because there's nothing feeding to that. If I do a one-way there, and then do this, this stuff's still going to feed up occasionally. Oh, but if I do a Oops. Okay, it just fed one of those. There we go, that. Oh, it's still going to want to go up every now and then, though. Let's see how this works. So this might, this might do the trick. In which case, I'll just have to run some more cables. You know, no big deal. I'm waiting, okay, flower. Flower went down, so the next flower is going to go up. And I don't think I have any wheat on me. Nope. So I have to wait 
for this, just add three, so one more, and four. So now it has one and, and it went down again. Beautiful. So maybe that will work. In which case, I just need to make a few more single directional pipes, which was right here. Yep. I'll take those. And that is set. All right, so that needs power now. Am I stuck? Hmm. Uh, I can turn this off, right? And I'll just gather, I think. So I'm going to have to cut power here. So as I can't get through. All right, so. We need to, okay, blinky plants there. Uh, I'm gonna put a light there just so I can see what I'm doing. Um, um, that's my grinder. Okay. So, we can put dirt back there. Cable, cable. Um, I'm wondering. Would it be better to just feed in right here? Probably would. I'm guessing. All right, so I need some more cables now. Do I have everything on me to make cables? I do. Beautiful. So let's... Go ahead and do that, and do this, and do this, and hopefully six is enough. I don't think it's going to be, though, so we'll have to make more, but oh well, so is life. Okay, so that should be powered now, just to make sure, Let's see what this says. Grinder is idle. Let's put wheat seeds in there. And it's grinding. All right. And that's sending them right to the furnace, which doesn't have power. Let's get that powered up here. First, though, let's fill this in because I don't need that open. Oh, come on. There we go. Two cables that should be powering. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And put the ball back in place. All is good. It looks like this device is burning and sending a lot of stuff through. Okay, this isn't working right. It's looking for the active. If it's active, that shouldn't be sending anything. That's weird. <laughs> Whoops. Um. 
Yeah, if that's active, it should not be sending stuff. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens here. Not active. Blinky plant has no effect. Which is fine. Let me try just a normal miscon line. Maybe something changed upstream and made this work differently. Okay, so we have one, which is fine. Still only have one. Good. I'm guessing something got messed up. This stuff, yeah. Let's do that. All right, so it's making me making me some stuffs. Hmm. But now it's never taking any. Oh wait. It's only pulling one over every time it pulls over an oil. Oh well, that should be okay. I think. Pretty sure that'll still run just fine. All right. So. Yeah, that's everything for that. Nice. Now I just need to make a bunch more machines for that but i think that'll all be off camera work because that's just gonna be pretty boring now i am kind of disappointed in this because i did want to put all of my food stuff up here actually this is gonna be like my little kitchen area which i don't think is gonna really work with this setup I'd pretty much have to take all of this stuff, feed it through a pipe underneath around. I don't think I want to do that. So food might just be stored in the basement. Which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. Wow, there's a lot of angry sounding animals around here. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. Food processing is complete. It may need a few tweaks here and there like why are wheat seeds going down there and not into this because I turned that off well, that was silly of me I should probably turn this one on back on too huh okay well that is gonna do it for this episode now that everything's actually working as it's supposed to so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time be sure to tune in same time same channel